I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your new Chromecast with Google TV out of the box. You have a power adapter, power cable, two AAA batteries, a remote, the Chromecast, Chromecast itself, as well as the Let's Get Started guide. First thing you want to do is go ahead and insert the batteries into the remote here. Next thing is go ahead and grab your Chromecast and you want to go ahead and plug in the power cable here. So we'll plug this in into here and then here's the wall adapter here. Now take note you may have a USB port that's open on your TV. The thing is I tried to plug this in originally to my TV but it wouldn't let me proceed with the setup. Okay so I must go this way with the uh, actual uh, wall adapter here. Next thing is go ahead and back your TV and go ahead and plug the Chromecast into your HDMI port on the back of your TV. Now plug in the power adapter into a wall socket. After you connected your Chromecast to your TV and you gave it power into the wall socket, next thing is go to start up your TV and make sure you go to the correct HDMI port. I think mine is on HDMI 1 here. So for me, this screen here pops up next and I can go ahead and choose my language. My remote is already paired here. Now some of you guys may not have one that's already paired. Basically what you're going to have to do is just pair it. What you want to do is press and hold two buttons, press and hold at the same time, the back button and the home button. Press and hold these both buttons and just wait till you see a pulsating light down here and then go ahead and let go of both buttons. Now from here, go ahead and choose your language. Next thing is go ahead and download the Google Home app on your phone. Doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or Android phone, just go to your app store and search for Google Home. And this is what the app icon here looks like. After you download it and install the Google Home app, go ahead and open it up. Open up your Google Home app. Just make sure you tap on the home button and then top left hand side, you see a little plus sign. Tap on that and you're gonna tap on right here. Set up a device, first one, tap that. Then you want to tap new devices. Next, you can go ahead and add this one to your home. I have a home and office here because I have several Chromecasts here, but if you have a totally new one, you want to go down here and tap on create home. For me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to keep mine at office here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. Looking for devices. Chromecast was found. Go ahead and tap on next. We need the camera position to scan a QR code. QR code. So I'm going to go down here and tap on scan code. Google Home would like to access your camera. Click on OK. Next thing is once you see this uh, QR scanner, go ahead and put it up. You can see it's checked. Now give this one second. It says connected on the TV. And on here, you want on the phone, you want to go ahead and tap on accept. Got to tap on I agree to the legal terms. Where's this device, the Chromecast, located? You can go ahead and choose whatever you want here. I'm going to go into here under Office. I'm going to tap right there, and then I'm going to click on Next. Then choose your Wi-Fi network. You have to choose the network, Wi-Fi network, where your um, phone is connected to. So mine's right here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Next. Now it's connecting to my Wi-Fi network. Now I just said um, connect it. Now it says you have to sign into your Google account, basically your Gmail. So go ahead and tap on continue. And I'll click OK right there. It's asking me for my password to my Gmail account. Put in your password and tap on sign in. Okay, it just said signed in. Now it's downloading system update. You can see here on the TV. It says your TV may restart and install the software update. I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue down here. Google services here. This is up to you. You can use Chromecast location. You can turn that on, on or off. This is a preference. You can toggle these on or off. I'm going to go ahead and leave all these on and tap on accept. And you can see we're still installing the update here. You can see on the TV. And then from here, you can uh, search across all your TV apps. You can go ahead and allow this now, or you can do no thanks, and you can always do it later as well. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and click on allow right now. You can activate voice match on this device. Basically, your assistant can already recognize you by your voice and tell you apart from others that use it as well. If you want an exact voice match, go ahead and um, tap on I agree and go ahead and continue with the prompts. For me, I don't need it. I'm fine. I'm just going to go with no thanks here. I can always set it up later if I, if I wish. Get personal results here. You can turn on personal results to access your calendar, contacts, reminders, and more on this device. If you want to agree to it, uh, go ahead. You can proceed with that. For me, I don't need this. I'm going to click on no thanks.
YouTube Premium here. It's a monthly fee. If you want that, I don't want it. I'm going to click on No Thanks. From here, you want to choose your subscriptions. Like I have YouTube, I have Netflix, I have Hulu as well. That's all I have. Oh, I have Sling too, right there. And then you can scroll down. And then from here, go ahead and tap on Next. This here is basically a screensaver. They call it ambient mode. You can go ahead and choose your Google Photos will automatically show up. Or you can just go with the art gallery. I'm just going to go with the art gallery here. And then tap on next. And then choose whichever one you want. I mean, I'm fine with all of these. I'll go ahead and tap on next. Stay in the know. Stay up to date with Google's hardware products and related features, services, and offer. If you want to, you can go ahead and sign up. I don't need this. I'm going to click on no thanks. Almost done. Let's tap on next. Setup here is finished, so let's go ahead and tap on done right here. Now I can go ahead and close this out on my phone. Now we're here, it says uh, control volume and power with your Chromecast remote. You can always uh, set this up later or you don't have to do it, or you can set it up now. Basically, you'll be able to use the remote to turn the TV off and on, as well as increase and decrease volume, not only from the TV, but a soundbar if you have that connected as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with set up a remote. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose TV here. Asking me the brand. This is a TCL Roku TV. Now it says you'll hear, hear music next. If you can't hear it, make sure the volume is all the way turned up. Okay, so I'm already using my remote and you can see it's increasing and decreasing the volume. So let me go ahead and go to next here. I do hear the music. Does the volume buttons work? Mine does. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. Next is set up the power button. Let me Click on OK there or Next. Now it says press the power once and that'll turn off the TV. Wait eight seconds, don't press any button and then press the power button again. So the power button is right here on the remote. Right here, so let's tap on that. Let's see if it turns it off, it does. After eight seconds, go ahead and tap it again. Let's see if it turns on, it does. Did the power button work? Yes, click on yes. Your Chromecast remote is set up. Go ahead and click on Next, Installing Apps. And here we are, your Chromecast with Google TV is ready. Start exploring. Go ahead and then there you go. You guys are up and running. Good luck. Now to make sure the power button works again for this TV, voila.